Hello, delicious travelers, and welcome back to Sunless Seas. We're going to continue our little journey here. We're going to head south. Jai Mishom. Oh, how did we not run into that before? Oh, we came in from the other angle, that's why. <laughs> that's fine. We should be getting our, uh, our next level up, our next facet here fairly soon. So hey, that's good. Well, we're not a full hole anymore. It would actually be a pretty good idea to head back to New Winchester before we continue on. There's an event that I need to uh, activate. Which is uh, involved in really progressing through this game. Find it sooner than later, but I would rather get to it sooner. Yeah, I don't really want to go that whole way south again. That was a long trip. Watchtowers are good. They're a good sign. Ah! <laughs> I'll be honest, I thought that I could have gone over that. <laughs> Cleanse Thrift. And we'll head due south from here. Send our scout out. Didn't find anything? Okay. Normally we get a message saying they didn't find anything. That's kind of weird. Oh well... Lots of little floating rocks and whatnot. Thankfully, we are fairly close to New Winchester. Heck, we find many more of these little things. It'll take care of our level up for us. Hey, look, it's the place we went through in the very beginning of the game. Funny how that works. Clerk begs a moment of your time. I represent Hall... Hollages? Hollages? Yeah, Hollages? Sure, why not? I, re I represent Hollages, the banking house. This is what we wanted. I represent Hollages, the banking house. I promise this time will take only a moment of your unquestionably valuable time. Right. He produces a folded contract with a flourish. We hear promising things about you, Captain. Very promising indeed. We would like to extend our services. We provide a secure solution for the storage of your assets, absolute discretion and steadfastness, unto death and beyond. We require only a signature. Sign your name. The offer is entirely complimentary, I assure you. At Hallages, we measure ourselves by the quality of our clientele. Very nice. I am certain that this represents the beginning of a long and warm relationship between ourselves and your lineage. May it endure. I bid you good day, Captain. You may access your bank in the central port of any region. You will find it in a list of areas on the left-hand menu when docked. List, uh, select to transfer items between your hold and the bank. You will be able to access contents of your bank from any hub port. If the captain dies, the contents of your bank will be inherited by your next captain. So, it is of great interest that if you have things you do not actively need to hold on to, that you transfer them to your hold, or rather your storage. Um, because, yeah, as they stated, everything in your storage 
turns into, you know, stuff. Um, I'm going to hold on to the seeds because we will be turning those in hopefully soon. Um, let's take a look. What do we got here? How much is it for the next ships? Hmm. A notorious graveyard for unwanted, unloved, or blasted out of the sky engines. Occasionally there are gems among the scrap. If your locomotive is damaged, its cell value will be reduced to cover the repairs. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty expensive. Oh my word. Very expensive. This also tells you your fuel efficiency, too. It's pretty good. Plus three to the hold. Minus two to the crew. I'm not a big fan of that. I probably want to get the Belvedere class escort. Or the Bedivere. It's not too much less in terms of fuel consumption, but it's got twice our health. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a long time until we actually get to that, so. Not too bad, I suppose. Okay, we don't have anything to sell. Not really, anyway. No prospects available, of course. Uh, 196. Yeah, I can't really afford anything. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a little while until we get to what we're going to be doing and whatnot. Okay, so what do we need here? Seven Tales of Terror and seven Sky Stories. I've only got one Tale of Terror. So, it is what it is. Uh, let's check out the shops and see if maybe they've got some stuff. Probably want some more fuel and more supplies. It's going to be a regular occurrence, buying them. So, let's uh, continue on, shall we? And, uh, yeah, we're going to go this away. Oh, you know what I could do, actually? Look for the place to turn in my port reports. is a platform. Bancroft's Forum. It's probably over here. So as you uh, play this game, by the way, um, the, uh, the map is actually, it's not randomly generated, but uh, the different tiles that comprise it uh, get mixed up. The center tile where Winchester is is, uh, is always the same, but uh, the location of certain places does get uh, changed up. So that's something to consider. you've played enough, you can kind of figure out which things belong to which backgrounds and whatnot. Like, I would imagine that uh, Lead Beaters always has that kind of a uh, wild kind of nature background. New Winchester's always going to have this kind of an industrial city type of a background. So, yeah. Sounds like gunfire or explosions or something. Very well could be fighting in some of these directions.
there's Victory Hall. Which is one of the places that we needed to turn stuff in. Oh, if we could even port properly here. There we go. The Assembly. Coalition of Independent Minded Settlers. Colloquially. colloquially God, that word every single time. Called Tackities. Gather and argue here. Deliver port reports here to receive re rewards and win the Tackity's favor. Visit Victory Hall. Okay. Hmm. Raised in the wake of the blockage of New Winchester, this magnificence of glass and steel houses the Colonial Assembly. Here, representatives of the independent ports of the Reach gather and quarrel. Deliver your port reports to the Indurate Veteran. Her tireless er, exertions during the blockade earned her both a seat on the assembly and enemies in London. She likes to keep abreast of events. Uh, this will influence the balance of power in the reach in favor of the Tacknies, the colonists seeking independence from London. That's fine. I don't really care about that just yet because I don't know anything about a lot of this background stuff. Services rendered. Nice, 200 sovereigns, hell yeah. She listens with a scowl. Well, I'd rather know than not, I suppose. And thank you for bringing this to me. Rather than the bloody stovepipes. I'll arrange a gratuity. Bloody is a bad word in the UK, so that's why that's uh, redacted out. That's kind of funny. Okay, so we have gained two of the Tacketty's Gratitude. Gained two fortunes. Tacketty's new total, 27. Struggling, you have lost two fortune for the stovepipes. Okay. Uh, trade favor for a savage secret. Trade favor for an otherworldly artifact. Hmm. Uh, how much does it cost? Uh, I guess let's try for the otherworldly artifact. It is customary for representatives to bring gifts from their territories. Examples of local craftsmanship. Mysterious finds untangled from the knotty roots of the Reach. The peculiarities are added to the overflowing cabinets in the Ward Griffiths archive. Okay. Okay, so that took both of our gratitude. Nice. The archive, or the archive is a jumble... Semi-sorted and barely cataloged, the curator, an indifferent man plagued by the flimmy cough, by a flimmy cough, is happy to loan you an exhibit. He doesn't check it out. There was no talk of returning it. If anything, he's happy to see it gone. And we have gained one otherworldly artifact. Nice. Uh, let's chat. Her skin is brown and her hair is beginning to gray. She wears a heavy, unbuttoned coat. Metals gleam in the shadows behind its lapels. One half of her face is scarred from frostbite. She is enjoying a quiet cigarillo while her peers argue in the chamber of assembly. You talk for a while about life in the skies. When her cigarillo is just a stub, she says, I'd be grateful to hear reports of your, cap of your travels, Captain. I suspect all manner of strife and imprudence is going to kick off the or in the info... Oh, yeah. In the foreseeable, not unforeseeable. I mean to be ready for it. Okay. Uh, no shops here. This is it. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, so let's actually do what we were gonna do here and go the way we were supposed to go. Turn on the cruise control! just around the corner from New Winchester. Convenient. <laughs> I still find it funny that uh, players were making such a big deal about wanting a horn and that the devs were like, can we do that? Yeah, 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 we can do that. <laughs> One of the most requested features just makes me laugh. Hello, Tackities. 
Don't mind us. Sweet miss, bro. That's how I'm going to try to open most fights. I'm going to try to get in close and uh, kind of broadside them like that. Just wait till I play King of Seas. You'll see a lot more of that. Uh, let's see it's cargo. Another bronze wood. Nice. I mean, that's fine. Relatively painless fight. We are running rather low on supplies, so I would prefer to find Magdalene sooner than later. Some really bad stuff happens when you run out of supplies. Very bad stuff. You want to run out of crew? That's how you run out of crew. Guaranteed. Facet. Okay. Uh, what would I want to do here? Veils and iron again? We can go with veils and iron. Moment of inspiration. Although I don't know what we do with the moment of inspiration. Let's go for hearts and iron. Alright, a lost love, love, the gradual erosion of that which separates you from someone else, the fitting together of two lives as intricately and intimately as the threads in a tapestry or the cells in your skin. And when one of those lives ends, what remains of the other? You loved, you lost. How badly does it hurt now? Like a fresh wound as raw as it uh, was then. Sometimes the grief is raw, ravaging, a wolf howl in a midnight's night, or midwinter's night. At other times, it sullenly slinks, waiting for a reason, any reason, to lift its head and howl again. So that puts us up to 15 heart and 31 iron. Not too bad. I really hope this leads to the port. can't exactly remember where Magdalene's is in relation to all these land masses and whatnot. Oh, you found a wonder, at least. This reduces your terror when you find wonders. Alright, well, didn't find the port. Where would the port be, maybe? Maybe around here? It's anybody's guess. At this point, I would rather avoid using uh, my scout, but it might be better to just know where some things are and head towards them with a purpose. Nothing to report, you jerk. Hmm. More in the dead, I suppose. Get rid of some terror. Oh, shoot! What is that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Away, beast! Oh, shit! I wasn't expecting that. Bye! 
Oh, no! Ah, you bastard. What the hell is this thing? Oh my god. Die! <laughs> Guys, I don't like our chances here. I mean, it's not exactly the most accurate, I'll say that. But it's still done a heck of a lot of damage to us. What are you trying to do? You trying to run? Ugh. Oh my god. Christ. Ugh. Uh, we gotta go for the repairs. Like... <laughs> oh man, their stolen home bursts under your gunfire. Thousands of reeling guests spill into the night, glistening like the ooze from a blister after it was lanced. Your blasts have ripped open one of the crew quarters. They're revealed inside as pustules of nascent guests hanging from the walls. Ugh. That was not a fight that was in our favor. Like, at all. Uh, I suppose we should at least be happy that we didn't die. <laughs> Yes, I know. We have taken damage, I know. Thank you. Alright, I don't think this is the right way. Alright, so here's the, the problem we've got here. We might have enough to get back to New Winchester. If we head straight there. But we could be right next to Magdalene's. I don't know. I think I'm going to err on the side of caution and just head for Winchester. One supply. Very quickly running out. And there is another bar after number one goes to zero, and then you've got to deal with that. We've got enough fuel to get there, but supplies are the big thing. So we're going to head back. We're going we're gonna to purchase some more supplies and hopefully not fight another Eldritch Abomination like we just did. That would definitely be for the best. And dang it, one of these days we will find Magdalens. Dang. That thing did like... At least 10 damage a hit. I mean, it could have... It could have three shot us. If it had gotten a little bit more lucky with its shots. But thankfully, it wasn't. I like the little puffs of steam and everything. They look nice. Oh no! Stop. <laughs> Let's not run into a wall. Ooh. 
Oof. That was rough. Okay, we're gonna need a little bit of fuel. A lot of supplies. Now let's get one more just to call it good. Okay, and dang it, we are gonna find Magdalens. I'm gonna go back this way. Once we get that port report, we'll be able to turn that in as well. That'll get us another hundred sovereigns, which is another two supplies and one fuel. If we so choose to spend it on that, which we, let's be honest, probably will. Star Maddened Explorer? Okay, they had a lot less HP than I thought they were going to. The crew of this weathered engine had been driven mad by the winds and the stars and the things that haunt the sky. Examine the captain's log, scavenge for parts. Uh, let's just get our hull back. A messy business. You exhort your, your crew to get over their damn superstitions and start stripping the explorer. They begin dutifully and gingerly, but soon begin to treat the explorer as the icon of all that they fear. Star madness, the thunder of guns, a wild death in the empty sky. You rip out plating and spare parts with frenzied glee. Well, we're back up to 27. So, a lot better than we were looking before. Considering we got down to... Geez, I don't even know how much we got down to. I don't even want to talk about it. Uh, a cryptic stoker wants to hold a memorial service for the crew that had recently died in your service. Judging by his tattoos of a storm studded with mouths a, and his rattling collection of talismans, the ceremony is likely to be Christian. Forbid it, Bacon writes up no... Place here, attend and deliver a eulogy, approve and attend, conduct the ceremony yourself. Um, man, I do not like any of these chances. A 50-50 chance? Eh, forbid it. Five terror. Eh. As you say, the stoker blows and takes his leave. After that, the crew are sullen and closed-mouthed. Do they wonder if their time comes, you will deny them a service too. Hey man, if it wasn't 50-50 chance for me to just say, hey, that's cool, then maybe I would have allowed it, but 50-50 chance, that's uh that's that's not great. Gerrymanderer. Mm, mourn the dead. Oh, hello. Uh, awkward. Um, make a move, sucker. Between this wreckage. Let's go. Uh, take a shot. Be 
careful in some of these fights. Let's give you a small weapon. Ooh, I do like the ability to have a gun. I mean, at most, we could just sell it. Yeah, let's recover its weaponry. The bridge is in ruins, the hold has crumbled, but its main gun has survived. An engineering crew could remove it intact. This will give you a small weapon that you can equip while in dock, or sell to an equipment shop. Nice! It's something we haven't gotten. Your crew returned in one piece and bearing the spoils of your victory. It was a right devil to remove, Captain, says the lead engineer. Hope you'll make good use of it. The Marauder Cannon launches chunks of jagged, superheated rock via a brutally basic mechanism. Simple, ruthless, effective. You now have one reclaimed Marauder Mangonel. Mangonel? Mangonel? Whatever. Um, I believe, as they stated, we can't actually put it on yet. Um, can't we? Yeah, no. We gotta be docked. Um, but that will go in our secondary, which will be our R2 button, as opposed to our L2 button, which we are currently using for shooting. Now all I gotta do is find the freaking... the port, man! Our terror is also a little, getting a little bit up there. So that would definitely behoove us to find the port. Yeah, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't aware that you could get ambushed by things upon, uh, interacting with destroyed vessels. So that's kind of interesting. So far, we've won both of our, uh, ambush encounters, so, uh, hey! Go us! Perkins Copes. Ah. This is close to Magdalene's. There it is. Just south of us. Oh, nice. And a free supply. You love to see it. Oh, hello. You have a top swivel gun turret. I am not gonna mess with you. You actually look terrifying. Damn it. Very nice. So, can we equip this now. Nice. Damage 25. Wow, that does a lot more than we did before. 50 heat to use. But you know what? Fine by me. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. What do we got here? Uh, let's go to the bazaar here. We do have all these, and we can sell all those. Nice. Uh, we did have... We did have a reason to get... No, wait. No, not the souls. No, our, uh... Our, yeah, no, ours is for hours, not souls. I mean, it's a good idea to do anyway. To get these. Uh, pending prospects. What do we got here? Oh, we already did that. Uh, Magdalene provides comforts and sympathy, uh, symphony? sympathy to the weary scar sky, uh, Skyfarer. Its hosts will tell you any lie you need to hear. Some of those lies require flowers. The imitable host wants up to three sacks of verdant seas, yada 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 yada. The imitable host smiles, just what we needed. Although I admit, I do miss roses, and lilies, and bluebells, still. These celestial blooms have their own virtues. Some of them weep, you know. He pays you a generous gratuity. Very nice. Yeah, I, I should probably buy these souls and at least put them in our hold, or in our bank, rather, at, uh, at, uh, the port. Let's do that, actually. Okay, Beatrice's exchange. Okay. Do we need another fuel? Sure. Okay. Comfort of... Or the House of Small Comfort. Uh, I believe we do have something to do here. We had a Sky Madden... Yeah, the Sky Madden Captain. There it is. The glass spires of Magdalene's pierce the clouds like swords. Shadowed figures can be seen moving through the gleaming corridors, their identities obscured by the hued glass. 
Crowds of skyfarers, ministry officials, and merchants mill about the forecourt in varying degrees of distress. All watch the clock set in the great clock tower, waiting for their appointed hour. Deliver the Sky Madden, Captain. You rescued him from a defeated marauder. Hence, or here, he can get help. Nice. And we gained 100 experience. Very nice. The nurses bring a stretcher to carry the Sky Madden Captain from your train. He'll receive the care of Magdalene's Finest. At least, magnets. Ma Magdalene's Finest with a sense of charity. Given that he has nothing on him to pay for their ministrations. Okay, no longer aboard. We have a vision of the heavens. Our terror has fallen, and we gained 100 experience. There was literally no reason to not do it. Um, write a port report, of course. It's another 100 sovereigns. Magdalene's is abuzz with activity. Barely has the clock chimed than a clamor goes up at the front desk. Guests rushing to and from, or guests rushing to and from appointments. Lord Redacted was seen in conversation with the amenable host. The east wing was closed for general access all day. A certain distinguished admiral was seen with his second in command entering one of the chambers of regret. Several guests succumbed to an excess of sentimentality and were forcibly removed. Nice, 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 nice. Um, I guess a meeting with the amenable host. He has requested us by name. An attendant escorts you through the dazzling violet corridors. The host's red door is always open. The attendant leaves you just as the clock begins to chime. The amenable host reclines on a, a couch of crushed velvet, a goblet of sparkling wine in his long fingers. Somewhere in the tower above him, the great clock ticks away. As a policy, the host's atrium is always open to guests. He is available to hear opinions, friendly criticism, and suggestions. Today, he has a headache. Uh, let's listen to his request. His voice is soft and sibilant, like butter melting in candlelight. A guest has become rather too attached to a particular attendant. He always requests that the same attendant appear in the exact same guise. The amenable host's lip curls in distaste. He reiterates the aim of Magdalene's, a place of healing and respite. It was not meant to feed obsession or self-indulgent self-loathing. This brings guests sickness. I would have him purged. I have a dossier on our guest. If you're interested in helping an unwelcome truth. Yeah, I mean, <coughs> why not? Take the lacrimose guest dossier. The minimal host smiles indulgently. I'm so glad you want to help. He produces a thin sliver of pages and passes them to you. I'd recommend taking on the role of one of our attendants. That way, you'd be playing the role of someone significant to him. The animal, amenable host sighs, reaching for his goblet. He knows all of our attendants by voice now. Someone new is needed. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I guess let's go see about dealing with that guest. How do you plan to deal with him? A treatment chamber has been emptied for you, should you wish to adopt a guise from his past. Alternatively, he is standing right there. He does not seem to have noticed you, his eyes instead boring through the door of the treatment uh, rooms. Uh, we can approach directly, disguise as his mother, or disguise as his lover. Uh... Oh, excuse me. I'm gonna go ahead and approach directly. The lacrimose guest's eyes widen as you approach. Has, has there been a problem? You invite him to sit. Stiff brandies are ordered. You recount to your own share of heartbreaks and tragedies. How you found yourself here, and you make clear that despite all that, you will be leaving. He nods slowly, and after a quick shake of your hand, walks away towards the station. He does not look back. Nice. Uh, I guess we should speak with the, uh, the minimal host. Yada yada yada. Uh, let him know about the guest. The amenable host smiles. Beatifically? Hmm. 
Of course, my staff will be pleased. It is a risk of our trade, when our clients can no longer separate identity and illusion, but seldom pleasant. He sighs deeply, echoing around the chamber like a newly freed dove. It is a trap any of us could fall into. His face darkens briefly. Here, take this. He fishes around beneath his couch for one of his goblets. It'll fetch a pretty price. Take it with my thanks, and do visit us again. And we got a hundred sovereigns. A hundred sovereigns for your damn goblet! My word. Uh, let's speak with an attendant. An attendant in the foyer schedules appointments with the aid of a hefty daybook and a very accurate clock. They are eager to explain the procedures and the rules that govern here. This is a hospital for the spirit. Our staff will become the per person you need. Here, you may say farewell to a doomed comrade, resurrect an old love, spar with a defeated enemy, all for a fair price. But do not overindulge. Our services are to heal, not to become an addiction. A tomb colonist is visiting a friend. Attendants draw lots to see who has to don the bandages this time. Tomb colonist. Wow, man, I haven't heard about a tomb colonist in quite a while not since sunless sea they're kind of like uh from what i remember they're kind of like lepers um you don't really die in fallen london you just kind of start to i guess decompose i don't know it's a little weird you'd have to look up some of the stuff on it but y when you get to the point where your body is starting to give out you're uh, you're shipped off to uh some of the tomb colonies to uh, be put to rest, so to speak. But, uh, yeah, it's a whole thing. The, the reason why they're covered in bandages is because well, their their body is festering and falling apart and stuff like that. They're, they're, they're not good to look at, so that's why they cover themselves in bandages. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Um, now that we've done that, we should probably head back to New Winchester. Um... Okay, yeah, we've got some stuff to drop off in New Winchester, and I want to get a chance to try out our new weapon. Very interested in that. But uh, that will have to wait, because that is going to do it for that episode, Delicious Traveler. If you guys liked it, feel free to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, so on and so forth. I will see you in the next episode of a bye.